think the togetherness of Passover is kind of my favorite. Yeah. And bringing people yeah. together over yeah. amazing food. I like Passover because I love having a Seder. Seder. I feel like it's the one holiday that you can just like get other people all super yeah. involved. Yeah, it uh, fulfills that classic Jewish narrative, you know, that they tried to kill us, we survived, let's eat. Yeah. <laughs> I like For that. hours and hours and yeah. hours. I think one of the, the things that is really new and exciting right now is just eating really good food for Passover. <laughs> Somehow Passover became a holiday when all these companies would create more processed foods and things that you would never put in your body when it wasn't Passover. Right. And so just the so idea true. of eating colorful, healthy foods is also kind of new and exciting. And so I'm, I'm a fan of that. That's kind of my, my new twist on Passover. Oscar's chief pickler and protector of the gefilte fish from this cat, and I'm one of the co-owners of the gefilteria. No. Hey, hey uh. <laughs> My name is Adam Chandler. I'm a staff writer at Tablet Magazine, and I'm here to learn from Jeffrey. We're going to make our carrot citrus horseradish and then we're going to make a Bloody Mary and then we're going to have a party. So our first step is I'm going to take the carrots and we're going to put these to boil just for about five minutes. So we have... What's next, we're going to take our vinegar and our sugar and we're going to create a, a vinegar solution, basically almost a, a vinegar brine, very simple, and we're going to bring that to boil. Next step, we're gonna we're gonna get these carrots. We're gonna mix them in the food processor with our horseradish, our lemon zest, our lemons, and our our vinegar solution. All right. Okay. Let's do it. And with fish, one thing I really appreciate about the horseradish as a condiment with gefilte fish is that it's the wasabi and sushi situation. It's the wasabi is you know almost as a safeguard in case it's a spoiled fish. Gefilte fish wasn't always the freshest back in the day, and ours is different, of course. I always like to think of this as the the safeguard, the protection. The cover? Don't, uh, you know, there's a cover that can go in it, but don't worry about it. Just, uh, All right. let's get that going. Go to shop. There's some sort right. of like threshold that it reaches where you smell it at first and you're like, oh, okay, that's nice. It gets kind of strong, but then if you really take it with your nose, suddenly it just shoots up there into your sinuses. Yeah. And I'm crying. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put this in a jar. Let's get this okay. going. Let's so this fine. is why our, our bubbies, why our respected elders will sometimes use gas masks because it, it's not easy. So we're adding the vinegar solution. The vinegar solution helps preserve this. It's going to keep it lasting in your fridge for longer. It'll also mellow it out as you taste it. It's quite powerful and you want that power. So we step back. We got this, we got this. We chose this life. Uh, the, the condiment of affliction. We interrupt this cooking demo to bring you cat Omar the one-eyed cat. Adorable cat doing adorable things. Omar is Sephardic because <laughs> he's eating rice during a Passover demo. <laughs> our horseradish complete. We brought ourselves to tears and now we're gonna have a drink. We're gonna make kosher for Passover Bloody Marys. It really works nicely with our carrot horse radish. It doesn't have to be a Passover drink. Bloody Marys are great any day of the week. Let's uh, make Bloody Marys. All right, let's do it. Always start with the alcohol. This is potato Passover. vodka. So we have about two quarts of tomato juice mm -hmm. here, and we had about a cup and a half of potato vodka. We got the juice of our lemons and limes. So we're going to add, I'm going with a healthy spoonful of our brand new citrus horseradish. The next step, we basically add everything that we haven't put in yet. Uh, we're gonna go with our hot sauce. Again, it's to taste, so it's more about your bravery. This is a Worcestershire sauce. It gives it a little kick. Salt and pepper, a healthy amount of dash for the pitcher. All right, we are at capacity, which is good. See all the load is falling to the bottom, but we're gonna mix it in, it's gonna get very textured, it's gonna be very beautiful. You can also use uh, celery stock as a stir if you uh, are so inclined. So, it's on to the party. Great. They're delicious. This is very, very delicious. And I'm not normally a Bloody Mary fan. But These are good. To eating, <laughs> to eating and drinking well on Passover. Nice. 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 They say you can't be done, but we'll prove them wrong.